when you're buying that big ticket item, like maybe this nice leather sofa we're sitting on right here, you want it to last and you want it to look good for a long time. We're at the Monroe Furniture Center today and Jerry Beckman, the owner, is going to give us some tips on caring for our furniture so that it looks good and lasts a long time. Yes. Love that idea. Right now that we're talking toy trains. Now they've been around since 1860s or so and they last for generations. We're meeting with Jan Guthrie. She's the owner at the Toy Train Barn Museum. Thanks for joining us, Jan. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So I have not been to the museum. Can you tell us what it is exactly? Well, you walk in, it's like walking into a miniature world of animations. It's kind of gone past the trains and people want to come in and see the magic that's in there. There's elevators moving, there's airplanes flying around, there's houses on fire and just all <laughs> sorts of cool things in there. You know, I actually literally stopped when I was looking at pictures. You have a, a miniature um, outdoor drive-in theater yeah. that was adorable. Yeah. The, you know, the little cars in the movie theater screen. You need to see it because the little car in the back row bounces up and down. <laughs> it's the animation, so that's what you need to see. Thought Kate. of everything. Pictures don't do it justice at all. Yeah, you got to see the animations. And that's a good point. There's so much to see. It, it's almost hard probably to take it all in oh, on yeah. one visit. It ages 2 to 99. Yep. Enjoy it. You got to come a few times, too, to see it all. To get it all in. How to did this start? It's such an interesting Well, story. Buck's been collecting, he's my hubby, he's been collecting since he was five and he's been collecting to open up a, a museum and that and then we were married on the farm here and ended up buying it back in like 2000 and bought back the house, the barn and 20 acres to do this and just worked really hard and you should have seen the barn when we moved back there. It was a wreck. It actually swayed in the wind and that and built it all up and painted it up and made some coolness inside. And it doesn't sway anymore. No, right? it doesn't sway. <laughs> no the, no hay in, the in the there. The no cows, wants. no hay, no nothing in there. Oh, yeah. how neat. So who, who likes to come and enjoy your museum? Who do you see? Coming? You know, I'm really surprised, ladies. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we get every every age, every male, female kids, but mm -hmm. the women are fun Very because nice. they come in there a lot and they think, oh, trains, you know, just coming in for the hubby. But then they get wrapped into the stories and, and sometimes you can't get them to leave. It's, it's great. And the, there is something about miniatures that is just yep. endearing. Especially when they move. <laughs> yeah. Moving miniatures. Moving miniatures. Yeah. All right, so we want to give a special shout out to Buck because he's behind a lot of this too. Right. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering where he gets his ideas. Everyday life. You know, because like you push a button, there's a house that actually smokes and real water comes out of it for the fire department. Elevators going up and down in a building. Everything that you see in real life. And for 30 years, he sat on a train and just stared straight ahead and thought about different animations and different things. So it's easy with him. How yeah. interesting. So mm -hmm. this has been percolating for decades. Oh, forever. Decades. Yeah, forever. Really when, nice. When, so, oh, sorry. No, that's When we okay. first got married, we had a trailer, and we had a train layout that ran across the whole trailer up above. I mean, so that's just the beginning. I mean, it's all through his life. Wow, it's really accumulated mm -hmm. and grown Growing. in so many ways. So it's so enjoyable, of course, for those who visit. I can tell that you're very passionate about it. it. Sounds like Buck is too. I imagine you keep doing this for the passion. For the passion and for the kids and the, and the adults. You know, if you could come in and see the reactions, mm -hmm. it just melts your heart. Oh. You know, I had a 99-year-old lady come in there because we start them up with microwave ovens. That's how you turn the stuff on. And I had a 99-year-old lady. I couldn't get down there, and I watched her. She was this tall, and she just walked over there and popped in the microwave buttons and got such a giggle. It was it was neat. And so did you. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm constantly taking pictures in there, and that or the little little one that's like three years old, just glaring through the window at the train going by. That that's special. Mm -hmm. Makes it magical. So can you say that you have a favorite in the museum? That's unfair to have. Oh, yeah, like really, like really, right? Everything all of it. New and for reason, but I should say my husband, right? Oh, Perfect. favorite, go. right? Perfect. Right? You can tell us the other answer yeah. off camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I like the older trains. We have some standard gauge trains. They're from 1926, 1930s, and they're this big and they run. And unless you live then, you're not going to experience that. So you come in and visit us, you experience it. It's just like bringing memories back. That's really special. I love. That's right. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Jan Guthrie, owner at the Toy Train Bar Museum. That's in Argyle, Wisconsin. Thank you so much. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Thanks. We are Wisconsin Women, and we'll be right back.